So yeah, I'm just back from the beach and I've had another parcel from Gong. So we'll go and check that out. Hopefully it is the new uh, front wing. Oh, there's Pearl, look. Say hi. So yeah, so the parcel has come from Gong and it is a large curve. This is a 2023 version. So I'll get this unboxed for you and while I'm doing that, you can have a look at this footage of the last session. Um, I couldn't fit it all into the last video, so I got that much footage from myself and Mark. I hope you enjoy a bit of that. I got this wing to sit alongside the Curve H that I've just got. Obviously it's not quite as high an aspect ratio and I wanted something around seven to begin with anyway. And I, and I jumped on the Curve H before they brought this out. And I got this for the higher winds and I thought with it being slightly less of a high aspect, it might be a little bit more stable in the wave. So I'll have to see if that's the case. I've not ridden it yet, I've, as you know, it's just come. So um, I'm looking forward to a good storm to try that out. So I am running them all on the aluminium mast and I'm running them all with the new fuselage and this freestyle stab. I may get another stab, I may get a slightly long one because the other stabs are slightly longer. The freestyle one is a couple of centimeters shorter, as I've said in a previous video. You can see from this shot how much flatter the Curve H is compared to the 2023 Curve. So the Curve large wing is to replace the fluid, I think really, um, for my higher speed wing. Um, I was previously on this fluid, which is a Fluid XLT, and it did saturate about, about 25 miles. So I bought this to try and go out in the higher winds and feel a little bit more comfortable. So it is a little bit more of a pronounced downward camber. Again, those tips do flatten off at the ends and a slightly lower aspect at 6.8. I will give a few full review on this. And as you know, the Curve H has been fantastic. I can't believe how low a wind I can get up on the Curve H. And um, I think it has pretty much replaced this Curve and XLT, but I won't get rid of this just yet. I pulled it onto this one just in case of those really light wind sessions. I have found though that my seven meter wing is too big for the Curve H. Um, I found that I could get away with a six meter, even in the lowest of wind. There is quite a bit of testing to do yet. I have tested this stab with the, these older front foils, as you should have seen in a previous video and that did both loosen them up a little bit, made them a bit more turny and reactive and also made them a little bit quicker, which was an interesting find. So I'm in no rush to sell the Curb T yet. I'm going to hold on to that for a little while, but I think I'm going to let the Fluid T go, the XL. Um, maybe, but I may not. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little first look at this Curb 2023 large foil. And think about buying one it looks a nice piece of kit so that's it for this one i will see you on the next one and hope to give you a bit of action with one, one or more of these wings then i'll see you on the next one have a great weekend take care she's a thing of beauty